All right, so in this case, to um, verify that two functions are inverses of each other, we need to do f of g of x, and we need to obtain g of f of x. And we need to obtain that the composition of both of those is equal to x. So remember, f of g of x is the same thing as saying f of g of x. Meaning, basically, you're taking the g of x function and you're plugging it into the f of x function. So I take my f of x function and I do 3 times parentheses. And instead of, instead of my input variable being x, it's now g of x. And g of x represents x plus 2 over 3. Now, just by simplifying, I multiply 3 times that. Well, the 3's divide to 1, right? That leaves me with x, basically x plus 2 minus 2. Well, I don't really need parentheses anymore because it's not being multiplied by a number. So therefore, I can just take positive 2 minus 2, and just, that just leaves me with x. Does everybody see that? Then to do g of f of x, I'm now going to take my f of x function and then plug in f, or take my g of x function and plug in f of x. So that would be 3x minus 2 plus 2 all over 3. Does everybody see the difference of plugging one function into the other function? Now we just simplify. Again, I'm not multiplying by these parentheses by anything. So I can just add and subtract the 2's, which leaves me with 3x over 3 which just simplifies to x. Since they both simplify to x, we can verify that those are inverses of each other. Make sense? Kind of? A little bit? 